it's asking you to, to plot all three of them. So you're going to plot all three of those short run average total cost curves. You'll have a column of One through column of your costs, your short run, you know, you can call it SRATC 1990, SRATC 2000, whatever. So you'll have, you can have three columns of those, and then you'll have a column of, you could have Q and Q squared, I guess. You don't need Q cubed. Or you could just have a column of Q and then just square it when you refer to it uh, in your Excel equation. So you should have, you'll be able to have three columns for each of the three years, and then you should be able to graph it straight from there. Because I said you'll have your Q that goes from zero to 20, and your three different um, short run average total cost curves will, will just differ based on the equations that you type in. So you shouldn't have to solve for Q anywhere. So in 1990, when we're solving, when we, so we'll have the three columns, 90, 2000, and 2010, and then we'll also have Q going from 0 to 20. Aren't we inserting a Q of 1 into that string or formula there for 1990? So you're not, you're not putting 1.875 times Q squared there. I guess I'm lost then, because that's how I was working on it. Let me share my screen again. I'll just do a quick unrealistic example. So if I did um, sorry, TC 1990. Oops, I should this over. Now I'll make my Q column. Zero to 20. And let's see, how do these things differ? Yeah, slightly there. So if I had, just, no, let's make some different ones down here. So you can see 90 fake numbers. Um, 1.5Q squared plus 10Q. Some of these subtract, oh, they're all subtracted. I'm gonna make sure my curve looks right. Plus, yeah, 90. Sorry, you see zero, 00. I think these are all the same. These are all, yeah. And these are different a little bit. I'll just do two of them uh, just to save time. So let me make this bigger too so everyone can see. So I've got the same thing. I'm just kind of telling you to have your Q go from 0 to 20. I've got only two equations, but you'll have three of them. And you do the problem. And then just go ahead and do the, your equation. So 1.5, and I'll refer to that. Oh, yeah. That's what I was, that's what I was asking. Okay. Um, so you're going to, you said solve for Q. Maybe you meant to refer to the Q. Refer to Q. Okay. I'm sorry. Yes. Yep. Yeah. So you just, you'll just do that. Uh, 1.5 Q squared. So you'll have another column for 2010. And um, so, so just to, to plot those three, I have no idea what these are going to look like because I just made these numbers up, but we'll see. I will do just little lines like this. So yours will look noticeably different than these. Yeah, just basically something like that. So I've got my Qs going across the bottom on my horizontal and my costs are the vertical. So you'll basically just be doing a, a modification of that. Well, that part was straightforward. What about the, um, when it asks, when you're, when you're saying that Q is two for the 1990s, are you just then grabbing that cell? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I went, um, let's see, make another column, LRATC. So 1990s when it's two, 2000s when it's 18. So I just, yeah, I just said, so 1990s would be that. And something, I can't remember what the other one was. Do that. And it's going to have to make a, this, it's going to look really weird if I tried to do it here because these curves aren't exactly the same as, uh, let's, I'll just call this something different just to make it up. And then if you, let me start try throwing this in there. Add another one. This X's will be my Q's. 
And so I've only got three dots for my Y values to put in there. And do I even see it? It's supposed to be, oh, I need my dots. So let's see, I'm gonna change my chart type to let me see those dots. So here's my green. Okay. So if I, so right now it's just these dots, but if I, I said to make a trend line, put a trend line in there. So if I either um, click on the dots and then add a trend line that way, or you can go to add a chart element and you can get a trend, the trend line menu also. And I can see that all these curves are kind of curve, curvy and the long run average total cost curve is supposed to be curvy as well. So if I tell it to make this a polynomial of order two, which I think I, yeah, second degree mm -hmm. polynomial, then you can kind of, hopefully you can see it. I've got this greenish line that's sort of connecting the dots that I wanted, uh, that I wanted connected. So it's connecting my um, little blue dot here, which is the 81.5. Then I said to grab 30 when the quantity is 10 on the red line here. And then I just made up this 300. So the green line is connecting all of this, all the dots in my long run average total cost column, okay. which it's going to look very strange in this particular picture, but it should look a little bit better um, using the equation that I actually gave you. It should, you should get something, hopefully it looks a little like this. So you'd have, you have three different cost curves and then the long run curves is going to basically connect the bottoms of, of all of them. So hopefully it'll look something like that. Again, it's not going to, it doesn't look like it, here in my little practice problem, but that was just me trying to come up with an example that didn't give too much away.